All right, so welcome back to the Sports Max Zone, the 2024 organization of Eastern Caribbean States, OECS, Invitational Boxing Championship, scheduled to be held in Castries, St. Lucia, started earlier on Friday and is set to conclude on Sunday at the VG Multipurpose Center. Well, Barbados, Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Grenada, Guyana, Martinique, St. Martin, Trinidad and Tobago and host nation St. Lucia, other countries confirmed to compete. Unfortunately, Antigua and Barbuda withdrew because of funding issues. Well, the championship will feature almost 100 boxers in the 13 weight classes and is open to all English, French and Dutch Caribbean countries. The president of St. Lucia's Boxing Association, David Christopher, is here with us on Zoom to discuss the ongoing competition. Welcome to the Sports Max Zone, David. How are you doing? Greetings, greetings, Sports Max. My first time on the, on the program live. I'm doing very well, doing easy like Sunday morning. Right, so happy to have you on, David, especially because we're talking about a boxing competition that I know a lot of the Caribbean will be tuned into. Um, a lot of Caribbean countries will be a part of it. So talk to me about day one and what are you expecting for the rest of the competition? Well, first of all, let me say to you, um, this is our Olympics. Olympics open today in Paris and we open our Olympics in the Caribbean. We didn't have much boxers make the Olympics, or besides only Haiti, but most of the countries is right here. We have Guyana, we have Barbados, yeah. we have St. Martin, we have Grenada, we have Martinique, St. Lucia, um, and we also have... Uh, I give you Grenada already? Yes. Uh, we, we gloves it up here. We have over 90, 93 boxers here. And um, we'll be having a fun here. This is the biggest ever OECS boxing tournament in the history of boxing in the OECS. You may have known that the OECS boxing or OECS sports on the whole have been dormant for a little while since the departure of our good friend Joseph Respirero, Dr. Joseph Respirero. And um, with the Minister Caucus, they had a couple months ago they decided to revitalize the sports in the OECS and they're using boxing as the guinea pig, I would um, to, to use our word of, 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 of trying out. And they also use them boxing as the first sports as a template so the other sports could follow. It's a pity you can't get a camera to see the setup. We have here, we just see um, most of the boxes just, in a, just arriving. We have the opening ceremony in a little bit from now. All the dignitaries also arriving. And um, this is going to be a real spectacle of boxing in our region. Yeah, and you know, uh, the format. Tell us a bit about the format because, you know, we're excited for the opening ceremony, which I know will be beautiful. And as you said, um, too bad we won't get to see it. But tell us a bit now about the format of the competition. Well, the format of the competition is more we want to expose our development program. You know, most of our elite boxers is going over the hills, and some of them going pro. So what we have here is the format. We have schoolboys. Yeah. We have youth. We have novice. We have elite, and we have juniors. We have as young as nine years old here, nine year old out of, out of St. Lucia. Guyana came here with some young boxers. I think the youngest one out of Guyana is 12. We see Trinidad with a large contention of 18 boxers. They have some young ones, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, the development program. So we'll be featuring the development on the future for the next cycles down the road for boxing in our region. And we have some seniors. That's where we're making up the card. So we have some females. We have a lot of females. I think it's the first time we have so many females. We have a champion out of France. She'll be taking on one of the Jackmans out of Guyana. So this air is going to be real excited. We will give you the link. So you can probably take a look at it after your program so you can see what's going on. This is two nights, tonight and tomorrow night. Right. And you know, um, at in the opening uh, response, you spoke about the Olympics and you said that, you know, this is your Olympics when it comes to boxing and everything. But are you dissatisfied, you know, unpleased 
with what has um, happened when it comes to boxing and the Olympics because there hasn't been so much representation from from the Caribbean in the Olympics. You see, we won't have much, we won't have much uh, representation because the Caribbean is suffering right now. It's a cancer in the Caribbean. You know what's going on with international um, boxing with IOC and um, and IOC, AIBA, and World Boxing. That's international politics, but it's affecting us in our region. This year is the year of the Americas. And uh, being the year of the Americas, we should see more things happening in the Americas. This tournament here, we got some help from AMBC and AIBA in getting some of the athletes here by getting a little contribution, getting some support. I'm not satisfied with what's going on with our boxing we have some lazy, and you know I'm a guy I shoot straight. Everybody talk about me, I say it like it is. We have some lazy leaders in the Caribbean, some presidents and persons who run in the associations in, in, in the Caribbean. They know of the boxing at heart. They're more profiling themselves in the Caribbean. They're not taking care of the development program. So you find when the, when the senior boxers go over the hill, they don't have the feeding. They don't have the nursery to feed the, the program. We have, a, we have a, a development program here with over 100 and something young boxers here. Because we're in the school system and we're trying to develop the boxing. We need to come together in, in the Caribbean so we can really develop the, the boxing. We see some of the, the association in the Caribbean, like Tarzan, some jump and go on over to world boxing. You know, that must be feel the, the grass is green up on that side, so they're going over there. And this is only causing more hemorrhage to us in the Caribbean. Yeah, David, I, know, I'm not so sure if... Yeah, I'm not sure if the viewers are following the point that you're making because um, the, the issue here, which you referenced as a political issue, the IBA, which is the International Boxing Association, has been suspended by the IOC um, because they aren't satisfied with a lot of things in their administration. And there is a separation with people, different countries supporting the IBA, sticking with the IBA, and others shifting over to world boxing, which is now the association that the IOC is welcoming. I know Steve Ninval, the boxing official from Guyana. I, I got the impression, listening to him, that he is more aligned to the IBA, which is... Which is um, being suspended by the IOC. Uh, why would Mr. Ninval be siding with the IBA? And how many Caribbean countries are on that side as opposed to the, the other side of the international governing body? Here I'm on that side. I'm IBA. I'm not going anywhere. Yes. Because I, they, I, I don't believe in what I see and what I know. To just go and look in. I can not see so, 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 so David, David, you, you are you are rejecting the you are rejecting the IOC's position that there is corruption in the IBA and um, a, a level of administration that that they aren't embracing. No, what is not corruption? What is corruption? Corruption is all over the world in sports. Mm. Corruption. Every time they tell Aiba do something and Aiba did do it, they shift in the goalposts. Mm -hmm. They ask for this report, they ask for that report, and I've been giving them everything. But you must realize, you must understand the dynamics of what's going on. This um, old problem starts with our past president, P.K. Wu. And he's a, he was an IOC member, and he's the president's friend. So they're putting pressure on IBA because of that is politics. You must yeah. understand the politics in boxing. Yeah. You and, know, and, you, I mean, you, you have to understand the politics and the dynamics of what's going on. Yeah, but are you, you suggesting, know? you said something earlier on, David, which is, is, is suggesting to me that because the Caribbean isn't unified in which body they are supporting, that is holding the Caribbean back in some way? Definitely, man. You have all the answers, man. You just play in the real. You play the real. Uh, what you call it? Journalism, man. You using journalism on me there. You know, <laughs> that's exactly. We not unify. We not unify. We listening to fancy talk. We listening to empty promises, and we not staying together. If we stay together, like Africa, if we stay together, we can bargain together because we have votes. We have twenty-one. 
or 20 something votes. We have to stay together. But you see, we divided. Yes. we very divided. I can say that to you yes. because I'm there. I'm one of the fellas on the ground who know what's going on. Yeah. This Art is David, our we, we, tournament we, here, uh, right here. We know what's going on. Yeah, Art David, we're going to leave it there. But let, me, let, let me just, on behalf of the Sports Mat Zone, congratulate you on the work that you're doing with St. Lucia Boxing. It's one of the most vibrant uh, boxing platforms in the entire Caribbean at the moment. And uh, we know that the Caribbean has produced so many world champions in the past, from Guyana to Trinidad to Jamaica. And um, it is disappointing for a, a boxing fan to see boxing not, not, not thriving in the Caribbean now. But continue to do your work, David. And I hope you have a good weekend here at the OECS Championship. And I hope the St. Lucians do well against the, the competition that you're going to be facing. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank we'll... you very much. We're going to keep working. We're going to stay positive. We're going to keep working here and build our boxing in the region. Yes. When we build our boxing in the region, we get a stronger voice to speak to either World Boxing or IEBA or the IOC because yes. we have the boxers. Yes. They have the organization, but we have the boxers. So we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Thank you very much for having me on your program. I'm all the best. I will send the link. Yes. So you can take a look and see the future of boxing in the region. Thank you very much. David Christopher, he is president of the St. Lucia Boxing Association and they are hosts of the OECS uh, Invitational Championship starting this evening and going through over the weekend. On Monday, we'll have a lot of the results from uh, those championships. And uh, we have coming up on the Sports Max Zone. After the break, we have our second zone update. And we still have to talk that uh, third and final test match that started at Edverston today, where the West Indies batting not that good, but the, the bowlers came back in the end. Back with more on the zone after this.